Hi everyone, Eva Taylor here, and I thought I would do this fun little video because I'm working on something and using AI to do it, and I thought you might find it interesting. First and foremost, I happen to be here in Google Slides, and I'm working on a presentation, and I thought it would be fun to convert the presentation into an ebook that the audience can take with them. So um, I just started doing this and thought I better record it. So one of the things that you can see is that I write very, very complete notes. When I create a slide, I like to create notes uh, almost as if I'm presenting. But then if I'm gonna do this as an ebook, that would have to look a little bit different. So I started playing with AI and giving it instructions and the notes and started getting this like little ebook outline. So let me show you what I was doing. Besides, I also wanna check to see if this is done. Let's see, is it done? Not done yet. This may not even work people. So, but the important thing is that I wanted to share this with you. Now, first things you gotta know is that I have the paid version of ChatGPT and it's the best money I ever spent. I'm like literally happy to give them money. Um, there is a custom instruction section here that I have filled out extremely completely. And if you go in here, it will tell you what information it wants to know. The more information you give it, the more specific you are information, the better it's gonna go for you. Having said that, now you can understand what I'm doing here. So I tell it in this chat, because every chat is a project. So this is the project and the task of converting a slide presentation into an ebook. So this is, I tell it, this is what we're going to do. I'm telling it that it's an ebook writer, a marketing expert, and the best in the world. Do not be afraid of just totally going over the top. And I tell it specifically what it's good at here. Uh, I also tell it that we're the voice. I can say second person, and that's true, but I also like to say that we're going to speak directly to the reader just because. Now, um, as you can see, the first thing I did, instead of just having to do the big project, the first thing I did is I wanted to test things out, right? So I, I'd say slide one, and then I give it the text that I had just written inside of the slide. And then I tell it sort of what my idea is. So this is kind of what I want to do. It goes off and it does this thing. So this is like really 90% done. I just need to go in there and tweak it a little bit, but I never stop there. I want to see, can I get anything better? So I ask it again and it gives me something I do not like. Uh, I look at that. I ask again. It gives me something I do not like. And I basically say, nope. The first one was your best one. See this example, which is just the first one. Paste it again. Let's do that. And now it does another. Um, I, now I'm doing a different slide and I give it some more instructions, just like the first. It gives me another thing. I'm like, you know what? This is pretty good. So now I'm asking it. I've downloaded this entire presentation. Let me show you how I did that. You want to go into print preview and then you tell it I tell it I want one slide with notes and this is going to take a little while um, but I want it to have everything so as you can see it's giving me one slide with all the notes and everything you see that it's a PDF with all the notes I've downloaded that as a file and this is what's uploaded here and so now I give it some more instructions now, as you can imagine, this is a ginormous, ginormous task, and it's going to take a while, right? Now, I could have done it, and I may still do it one-on-one, -on -one, but I wanted you to see how far I am pushing this to do the work for me. Um, I'm doing this early in the morning. Uh, it's probably chewing up absolutely all of my um, cost, right? So... I wouldn't be surprised if after it tries to do this, I won't be able to use chat GPT um, for a few hours at least, but I really just wanted to try and see if it did it. Obviously now you see both. You can go a little bit at a time and tweak as you go uh, and, or you can just give it a giant assignment. And I've got 30 some slides on this thing. I mean, seriously, um, like, 26 slides and I haven't finished the presentation yet, but I am just testing this. 
Hope this helps you uh, give it a try for yourself on your next presentation.